Welcome to this webinar on the Bachelor of Geoscience at Federation University. My name is Helen, I'm part of the Future Students team and will be your webinar host for this event. Joining me today is Hayden Swan, lecturer in Geoscience, and Josh Bicknell, a current honours student here at Federation University. We acknowledge the traditional custodians of the lands and waters where our campuses, centres and field stations are located and pay our respects to Elders past, present and emerging. We extend this respect to all Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander and First Nations peoples. A reminder that we'll be run, running live Q&A sessions throughout Open Day alongside our online chat service. You can find the Q&A schedule on the Open Day homepage. Alternatively, you can contact us via any of the communication channels listed in the final slide. In today's webinar, we'll talk about the benefits of studying at Federation University, provide you with key information on studying the Bachelor of Geoscience and look at what you will study within the degree. We'll talk about how you'll study, your career outcomes and hear from a current student. At Federation University, we teach innovative science programs that provide graduates with the skills and knowledge to build a career advance their profession and contribute to their community. We pride ourselves on our small class sizes and our student-centred approach. All students get to benefit from our modern laboratory technology and our research active, highly competent and passionate staff. There are a number of options for studying science at Federation. In today's webinar, we are focusing on the Bachelor of Geoscience. This is a practical, hands-on degree that takes you into the amazing natural environment. It's designed in consultation with industry and is recognised for producing graduates who are equipped with relevant, up-to-date knowledge and skills. The Bachelor of Geoscience is delivered through our Mount Helen campus in Ballarat in Western Victoria. Mount Helen is the largest of our Ballarat campuses and it's located in a bush setting near Mount Buninyong. The campus has student accommodation available, free car parking on campus and it's well served by public transport. The geoscience labs are in a purpose-built facility known as Y Building on the southern edge of the campus. The Bachelor of Geoscience is delivered over three years of full-time study or part-time equivalent and as a Year 12 student you will need to have completed your VCE, achieved a minimum study score of 20 in Units 3 and 4 in English and in Units 3 and 4 in a Maths or Science and selection is based on ATAR. This degree at Federation has a guaranteed ATAR. This means that if you meet the program prerequisites and the essential requirements for admission, we will guarantee your place in the degree if you achieve an ATAR of 60. If you've completed an unscored VCE or VCAL, or didn't achieve the required ATAR and prerequisite study scores, consider the Foundation Access Studies program for engineering, maths and science, or FAST, as a pathway. FAST is a one semester course, it attracts no tuition fee and it helps you build the skills and knowledge to succeed in an undergraduate degree at Federation. Non-year 12 applications are considered on your full educational or work history. Again, if you don't meet the entry requirements, there are pathways, including FAST. Application for semester one is via VTAC when, where you can include your pathways. If you've experienced educational disadvantage, we encourage you to apply for C's. I'd now like to introduce Hayden Swan, who lectures in the geoscience degree at Federation University, to talk a little bit more about studying geoscience, how you study, and the benefits of studying at Federation. G'day everyone, uh, my name's Hayden Swan and I thought I'd just start off by telling you a little bit more about me uh, before we talk about geology at Fed Uni. So I actually did my undergraduate degree at the old University of Ballarat, which is now Fed Uni, in the um, early and mid 1990s. And after completing the degree, I went on to work in um, remote parts of the Northern Territory and WA 
doing a range of different exploration roles, but it had me doing some, some really cool stuff, which I still think back on and think how, how much fun it was. Um, getting to you know, live in these remote areas, um, getting to undertake exploration programs, sampling programs, some of it um, from four-wheel drive, some of it from helicopters for weeks, uh, weeks at a time flying in and out of remote areas in helicopter on a daily basis. Uh, and then after a few years working in, in that uh, sector, I did some more study, um, did a Masters of, of Science, um, and then joined the Federal Public Service where I worked for several years um, in a range of different roles, um, sort of um, in Canberra and Melbourne, um, and I also worked in New Zealand for, for a little while as, a, as an advisor over there. So um, that was, that was a, a really exciting time, and, and I have no doubt that the skills that I um, developed as a geologist and working in the minerals industry, but also through my studies, um, absolutely helped me with that work, being able to critically analyse information and, and, and develop that, those sort of writing and critical analysis skills. I then rejoined the minerals industry and worked in a senior exploration role in uh, Broken Hill of all places. So I spent a bit of time working in South Australia um, as well and also in Queensland. And uh, before rejoining the university um, as, a, as a geology lecturer using um, all of my experience and, and knowledge that I picked up along the way to, to help teach people about geology. Uh, what I love about geology really is that it, it gives you an understanding of the planet and processes and you can walk into or travel to any landscape and understand something about it and understand how it formed. So that's something that geology, uh, that, I, um, that I really love about geology. Uh, and I'm, I, I love sharing that with people. People often ask, why, would, why did I study geology and why would anyone study geology? Well, the, the beauty of geology is that it, I think it pretty much takes the best bits of some of the other pure sciences and melds them into something that has real practical application. So why would you study geoscience? Well, you enjoy um, understanding the world. You enjoy science generally. Um, it helps if you are interested in the real world, the environment, and being outdoors because quite a lot of the jobs in geology involve at least some amount of sample collection or um, mapping or being outdoors for some amount of time and that's something that certainly resonated with me. I love being outdoors. You want to know how your planet, what makes your planet tick. That's something that, that I think was, was critical for me. Once I started learning a little bit about geology, I wanted to know more. I wanted to really understand how. Why, is this, why does this landscape look like this? Why is this part of the world, you know, sandy and this part of the world is rocky? Why is there basalt plains all through Western Victoria? Why, why are these volcanoes where they are? So uh, it, it helps sol uh, answer some of those questions. So if you've got a bit of an inquiring mind, it, it's, it's fantastic. The other thing um, about geology, why would you want to study geology, is that there is lots and lots of different career options and most of them pay really well. And the career options are really broad. Um, so there's obviously the, the minerals industry, but there's a whole range of other options as well, which I'll talk about more in just a minute. Typically, most of your uh, subjects will consist of about four hours of contact at, uh, with your lecturer. And that's normally broken down in geology subjects into about two hours of theory and two hours of hands-on practical stuff. Um, and most of the classes also include at least uh, maybe a half day field trip at, at the least and maybe a, a day, maybe a single day field trip or maybe it's a, a weekend away. Um, and we also have dedicated field work classes in second and third year. So in first year we stay pretty local when we head out of, out of um, class. In second year we have some bigger trips. There's a couple of days in the Otways, there's the Grampians and the, our, our dedicated field trip to the Flinders Ranges. We also have um, a trip to Broken Hill in third year, and that's our two-week um, third-year field work, which is fantastic. And then we also head to, uh, to an international destination every two years, but more about that in just a moment. 
the field work really is a core aspect of our program and, and is important in most of our subjects. And the reason for that is because we believe that it really is something that cements your understanding of the theory content. And it's also great fun and a great way to get to know your mates in the, in the course. Uh, and there's an old saying that the best geologist is the one who's seen the most rocks. And I, I think that's absolutely true. Like any field, it basically in geology, gaining experience is about seeing different rocks in different situations. So the more we can show you, the better off you are. It's, field work's also really important for um, industry so that they can be, be confident that you have, uh, have the practical skills um, and, and, and the experience to be able to be work ready. So, and that's something that we pride ourselves on is having graduates who are pretty much ready to go for the workforce. So yep, you can be assured that if you um, undertake the GEO program with us, that you'll um, not only have a great time, but also that you'll be ready to go and, and have some great experiences along the way. And we can't always show you the things that we'd like to show you um, that close to home. So there are some things that uh, are further afield, which is why we go to the Flinders Ranges and Broken Hill. But as I said before, we also offer uh, every couple of years an international advanced fieldwork course. And that really is to see things that we can't see here. And on your screen here, you can see some of the places we've been to. We, we return to New Zealand every, every few trips. Um, we've been to Canada, Hawaii, New Guinea, um, the US, Italy, Taiwan, Thailand, Hawaii and so on. So there's lots and lots of places that we, we've been to all around the world, uh, usually as I said for two or three weeks and it's an, it's an amazing experience and I've been on several of those now. Um, and yeah, they're a, they're a great uh, bonding experience for the group but also a fantastic learning opportunity to see some really exciting stuff. One of the things I really like about geology is that it's so broad. So there's a little bit of everything and you need to have a, a good grounding in, in the, the core um, sciences to be able to make sense of geology. We look at planetary processes, we look at sediments, we look at weathering, uh, how landscapes form. We do, you need some IT skills to use um, the latest computer programs for modelling and uh, mapping. We look at ore deposits, you have to understand those, um, how different igneous and metamorphic rocks form and deform. And we look at faults and folds, groundwater, surface water, a bit of everything. Surface chemistry, there's a, it's a real mixed bag of stuff, which, which is why um, geologists are so employable. Where can your geology or geoscience degree take you? Well, it can take you pretty much anywhere. Um, I'd say probably mm, 50 or 60 percent of our students end up working in mineral exploration or, or similar areas. Uh, or mining, and the, uh, we've got graduates scattered all over Australia and all over the over the globe. There's also lots of opportunities to work in more specialised fields, like in groundwater studies, contaminated site assessments, or doing geotechnical work, which is basically looking at the the strength properties of rocks and soils as they relate to big engineering products. Should I build a a, a, a tunnel through here? What? How is that going to? How are the rocks and soil going to? respond to what we want to do to them. Um, there's also lots of jobs in the public sector that geologists can fill really readily, councils, water authorities and so on. Um, or you can, you can keep learning about geology and, and, and narrow your focus right down and keep, keep researching. It might be ore deposits or contaminated sites or maybe it's looking at faults and folds or um, soil chemistry. There's loads of different options. So you don't need to remember all of those, absolutely, but there are lots of options, that's the message I'd like to, to leave you with. In terms of what the, the structure of the program actually looks like, you probably don't need to worry about it too much, but there's essentially uh, in your first year of study, as I mentioned before, a mixed bag of science subjects as a, some as a communication subject and some maths and that prepares you for the second year of study. So the first year you've got a couple of geology subjects, three in fact, um, environmental studies, earth living history and planet earth. And then your second year is full of geology subjects. It is very packed and um, that's where the bulk of the, the fundamental learning happens. And then in third year we give, we've got 
some more advanced geology subjects as well as the opportunity to, to specialise and do some things, that, other things you're interested in and maybe that's a project or maybe that's looking at contaminated sites and rehabilitation, depends what your interest is. There's loads of options for those as well. Here you can see Tom who's a former graduate of ours from a few years ago. Um, he now works at Castlemaine Goldfields in Ballarat here as a mine geologist and Tom actually started working for, for the mine while he was still studying um, to, to get himself a bit of experience and obviously some money as well. Um, so that's one co common career option for, for geologists is to work in exploration or mining to advise on where the mineralisation is essentially. And the, at, but as you can see on the screen there, there's loads and loads of different other options and they're all, uh, if you want to know more about any of those, I'm happy to answer any questions. Um, but in terms of career outcomes, I guess in summary, we've got graduates all over the world in working from you know, huge mining and exploration companies through to tiny little consultancies and working for government agencies and water authorities um, all over the place. Um, uh, federal government, state government, EPA, um, yeah, the sky's the limit really, it's up to you wh what you want to specialise in and what you're interested in. But you know that the options are open for you and you can, you can certainly change between those um, after a few years if you want to try something different. Um, but there are certainly lots of options in terms of your career, but you can travel and uh, it's all interesting. Thank you Hayden. And now welcome to Josh, who will share his experiences with us as a student of geoscience. Hi there. So that you know a little bit about me and where I fit in, my name is Josh and I finished my Bachelor of Geoscience in the middle of this year after starting it at the beginning of 2017. Normally it's a three year course, but because Federation Uni is more than willing to work with you to ensure that your studies are tailored to you, I was able to finish my degree by doing a mixture of full-time and part-time as I required. This allowed me to make sure that I had the appropriate time to focus on my studies around things like work and to adjust my study load as events in my life required. I've really appreciated how willing the university is to work with you to make sure your course works for you. I have begun my honours as of this semester, which for those of you who have may not heard of it before, that means that essentially I love studying my field so much that I've chosen to keep studying it after I've finished my degree, including specialising further into a specific field of geoscience. I found that the geoscience degree was a great fit for me because it includes a great mixture of knowledge and personal development, as well as allowing you to focus your studies on the parts that really interest you. The degree is at its heart all about learning how and why the planet operates the way it does. But if I wanted to take it to an even simpler way of looking at it, I think the basic components of it really relate to problem solving and critical thinking. So if you found that that's the way your brain works and that you love solving puzzles and figuring out the why and how of things, as well as having an interest in the natural world, then it's a great fit for you. I think for so long people have thought, oh, geoscience and geology just means rocks and mining. And while the rocks part definitely plays a huge part in it, and you can go down the path of mining if you want, the degree is so much more than that, and it's actually all about learning about the natural world. You can study water systems, the way our environment physically involves, the chemistry that makes up the components of our planet, the way everything forms, and so much more. There's just always been this view that geology equals mining, but using myself as an example, with my studies at FED and how versatile the degree is, I've been able to go down a pathway that's a lot more environmental and ensures that my skill set is adaptable to the challenges that we're likely to face in our world going forward. The course is a great mixture of both field work and theoretical components that geology related jobs often involve, so it really allows you to identify the parts of the industry that you enjoy. I just wanted to take the opportunity now to show you some of the parts of it that I really liked. Most of the geology related classes that you take include a field component, which is normally a day trip somewhere such as Halls Gap or around Ballarat, but it can also include up to a week in places like the Otways. 
There are also dedicated fieldwork classes, which were some of my favourites, and they take you on a fortnight long trip to Central Australia, where you get the chance to put some of the important skills you've learned into practice in the real world, as well as acquiring more skills from the lecturers who are along with you. You get to do all of this while visiting some incredible locations, many of which have huge geological significance for Australia, such as Broken Hill and the Flinders Ranges. Not only do you have the opportunity to see Australia, but the university occasionally runs trips which will take you further afield, with the most recent ones having been to Hawaii and East Timor. The pictures I've included here are ones that I've taken while I've been out and about with the university. For the parts of the degree which were classroom-based, I found that they all varied in terms of their content, which meant that I got to experience everything geology had to offer, which I thought was great but the important part was that I found all of it really interesting. Every class I had was relevant in teaching me important skills that I know I will need in the future, but also, as I mentioned earlier, it, everything really allowed me to hone in and identify what part of geoscience I liked the most. If I had to pick out some personal highlights from the coursework, I'd say it would be the optical mineralogy classes, as well as the classes where we got to learn about rock and mineral identification, or rock and mineral genesis, which, more simply, is how they formed. There are a huge range of rock and mineral specimens at the university, and sometimes it feels like every drawer or door you open on the top floor of the Y building is full of more of them. And you get to try your newfound identification skills at a wide range of them. The specimens that the uni have have been collected by staff and students during their time out in the field. I've included a few pictures of some that are in the uni collection and one of my own. The first two help me understand some important processes of rock formation being composed of different layers of sediments which have undergone different processes over many, many years. And the last one is one that has been subject to large amounts of stress that have led to it breaking and slipping, like a fault that causes earthquakes, but on a tiny scale. Normally, you might pass by rocks that look like this on a daily basis, but finding out how and why these sorts of things present themselves in the natural world has been a really engrossing experience for me. Another one of my favourite classes, Optical Mineralogy, is all about looking at tiny, tiny slices of rock that are thinner than your fingernail through a high-powered microscope. This is incredibly important, not just because it shows you some ridiculously pretty colours as the light bounces off of different minerals, but it also allows you to gain an insight into how the particular rock you're looking at has formed, all from one tiny slice. The classes which involve these techniques, they taught you hugely important analytical skills, but they also really help with developing your critical thinking skills. And then, as another note, you definitely do get some great pictures with some incredibly pretty colours. These are all images that I took of samples I collected with Hayden, who you just heard from before, during my final field trip class to the Flinders Ranges. That bar in the bottom left corner of the image is at a scale of 200 micrometres, which is two hundredths of a centimetre, just so you get an idea of how small the contents of these images really are. Aside from the fun parts of the degree, you are afforded a huge amount of opportunities from it. The lecturers and support staff at FedUni are a huge resource, with so many of them having come from a variety of different professional backgrounds, meaning that they can all provide you with relevant experience from a variety of different fields and subfields, which greatly contributes to your learning. Classes themselves involve a variety of different skills like public speaking, research methods, essay writing, map making, and many more, with the wider university giving you an opportunity to tackle things like leadership roles. One example of this is while I've been at the uni, I've taken part in the mentor program several times, which is set up for you to assist new students and to help them adapt to uni life. The geoscience course can really lead you to a lot of professional opportunities, including on to further study, such as the honours program, which I'm currently undertaking, as well as there being a strong involvement from the wider geological industry. The uni has ties with the Ballarat Gold Mine, which is run by CGT, with past students often finding jobs there, as well as the involvement of the Australasian Institute of Mining and Metallurgy, who provide a lot of opportunities for meeting those who are already in, in the industry, as well as other forms of professional development. They also contribute things like scholarships and awards for high-performing students. 
That's all for me. Thank you for attending and thanks for your interest in geoscience. Thank you, Josh. And thank you everyone for tuning into our webinar today. Please don't hesitate to contact us if you have any questions.